Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you like this watch, you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Buy, trade, and sell luxury watches on thewatchbox.com. And today, I'm coming to you with a treat. This is the Grand Seiko Highbeat Automatic SBGH043. 40 millimeters in what the Swiss would probably describe as grade 5 titanium. It's a 40 millimeter watch that wears feather light on my wrist. This is excellent. If you have an allergy to latex or nickel, a lot of luxury watch cases and straps are going to be off limits. This is the perfect alternative with no sacrifice in beauty, quality, or technical sophistication. You'll note 40 millimeters across the round of the case on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. It's very constrained. That is compact lug to lug, so it wears well on a small wrist. Only 46.3 millimeters lug to lug. Even if you count the solid end links of the bracelet, it's still a very manageable 49.7 millimeters. I would say you could probably wear this watch on a wrist as compact as 13 and a half centimeters in circumference. It is feather light, only about as heavy as a 35 millimeter steel round watch. In terms of thickness, it's neither thick nor thin. 13.7 millimeters thick with a sloped case flank, you'll find it slips underneath the cuff. Not ultra thin, but again, not an encumbrance for any attire, including formal. The beautiful spacing, and it is a very sharply sculpted set of lugs that presents itself here. 19 millimeters, so if you want to accessorize with a strap, you're going to have a bevy of OEM and aftermarket options in that size. The bracelet is beautifully made, like the case is beautifully made, which is to say it's silky smooth and supple on the wrist, but the individual components are also handsomely finished. You can see that hand-laid bevel along the flanks, almost like something you'd see on a Royal Oak or a Nautilus. Differential finish, satin and polish, and you'll note on the under side big channels between links to avoid pinching skin, pulling hair, or trapping heat on the wrist. Pins and sleeves used for sizing removable links. That's how Grand Seiko does its titanium bracelets. It might be a little bit old-fashioned, but I can't argue with their logic that these never back out. Screws sometimes do. Tank tough, fail safe. Now, the clasp. Beautifully made. First, thin in profile, unlike a Rolex Oyster. The twin trigger release is how a clasp should be made in the luxury class. No clamshells, no friction fit. You must press both polished triggers to open this clasp. Absolute security inspires confidence. You'll note that the end profile, once again, beautifully faceted, almost like a gem cut from titanium. Grand Seiko calls this case form polyhedron, and I don't argue with the nomenclature. The finish is beautiful. An overused word. I've, I've broken the word. Let's use something else. Rare. Exquisite. I would even say hypnotic. The way light plays across these facets, and it is a combination of curves and hard creases, is unlike anything else in the class. First of all, hand finished. This is the Grand Seiko Zeratsu finish, optically smooth, executed with hand pressure, applying the structure directly to a rotating tin plate. This is done by eye, by feel and experience. I don't know how they get these micrometrically precise bevels perfectly symmetrical from side to side using only the eye and feel, but that's the benefit of a master artisan's experience working in your favor. So not only do you have a hand-finished case and a watch that costs substantially less than $10,000, try to find that in Switzerland, but you have a dial to match. And Grand Seiko dials, as good as the cases are, as good as the movements are, Grand Seiko dials are the gem within the entire organization and the entire structure of artistry that the company calls its own. Why? Because this dial is comprised of multiple levels of detailed and nuanced steps. First, I can't really describe the style other than to say it is a gloss or lacquer like white, but there's also a distinct sunburst with a radial grain that you can only see in person. It's so subtle you could easily miss it. Why is it there? Because someone designing and crafting this watch thought that degree of attention to detail was necessary. All of the indices are faceted and applied by hand. So the faceting, the polish, and the satin is done by hand using diamond-tipped tools. And then it's applied by hand, each one perfectly aligned. These are dials that rival Rolex. Again, really saying something because Rolex dials are probably the finest single component of the entire watch. The hands at center, mirror polished. You can see the mirror polish as I move my finger over those Dauphine hands, and not only are they mirror polished on their tops, but they have faceted flanks at center. Heat oxidized blued steel lancet counterweighted seconds hand, gorgeous, with a Ray Hot style minutes and seconds track outboard. A faceted 
polished and satin finished aperture for the date, screw down crown endowing the watch with 100 meter water resistance, turn it all over and you're looking at Grand Seiko manufacturer caliber 9S85 automatic high beat so 10 beats per second or 36,000 vibrations per hour. This one features hacking seconds, a quick set date and you'll note the 37 joule movement is adjusted to 6 positions. The Swiss COSC chronometer test involves five positions, so this above and beyond what would conventionally be described as a chronometer in Switzerland. A watchmaker assembled and watchmaker regulated movement. Grand Seiko is a vertically integrated manufacturer, not one of the most, the most. The bridges, plates, hairspring, shock protection, jewels, how about lubricants? Even those are made in house. This is a true manufacturer product, the likes of which you would only find perhaps within the bounds of Swatch as a group or Rolex. I keep comparing Grand Seiko to the finest vertically integrated manufacturers in Switzerland and there's a reason for that. GS has earned it. See this one and make it yours on the Watchbox.